We've all seen trailers moving some pretty heavy objects on the road. Some carry construction equipment, while some may even be loaded with houses. But if you think these objects are massive, wait until you get a look at what we're about to show you today. These are the top four largest loads ever transported by trucks. Number one, Emmert Moon G2. 2016 saw Emmert carry a significantly gigantic electromagnet, which was about 50 feet long. After a month-long journey by barge and truck covering 3,200 miles, the gigantic Moon G2 ring finally arrived arrived at its new home at the Fermilab in Batavia, Illinois. The journey began at Brookhaven National Laboratory and ended at Fermilab. The electromagnet that cost $25 million had to be first moved from Building 919 at Brookhaven to the Smith Point Marina before it could travel along the eastern coastline. Together with researchers and project managers from Fermilab, professional moving contractors and tradesmen, a large team of employees from Brookhaven Lab coordinated the journey's crucial first steps. Employees of the lab, along with representatives from the heavy transportation company Emmert International and the police departments of New York State and Suffolk County, spent months formulating a plan for the removal of the magnet, which included everything from a procession across campus and exit through the main gate to a midnight cruise down the William Floyd Parkway and a farewell on the South Shore. When carrying a structure that weighs 17 tons and contains coils that are too sensitive to twist more than three millimeters without rendering the entire device inoperable, the planning was not without its obstacles. In order to overcome the barriers, the group had to determine first how the moon ring would leave Long Island and then move on to the next step. The coordinators toyed with the idea of delivering the magnet to Fermilab over a distance of more than 900 miles across the country entirely by truck and even by helicopter at one point. However, in the end, they came to the conclusion that transferring the magnet by barge up the East Coast and up the Mississippi River would be the method that would be both the safest and most cost-effective alternative. The first phases of the big move were planned out, and the date when the magnet was supposed to start moving was set for June 14. However, the operation was delayed by a week due to the severe rain and strong winds that occurred around that time. The first part of the G2 Rings three-day voyage off the coast of Long Island took place during the following weekend, which had clear skies and lovely weather. A police entourage accompanied the magnet across the lab site, which is approximately 1.8 miles long, beginning with Building 919. The magnet was driven to the main gate in a truck, while a patrol car was parked in front of it and another one was parked behind it. The law enforcement officers at Brookhaven Lab utilized a strategy known as leapfrog, in which they would close off certain segments of the roads on the campus in order to control the flow of traffic as the ring moved. And then they would reopen those segments once the ring had moved past those points. Despite all the forces against the move, the delivery was surprisingly complete before the designated time. Number two, Perkins STC. Next up is these 400 ton massive generators being transported on a trailer from California. The truck pulling the trailer is the Mack Titan from Perkins STC. Built within the U.S. and used for oversize and overweight cargo transportation of 400 tons, it ran comfortably at speeds of up to 25 kilometers an hour. The trailer, however, is even more impressive. It has 192 tires, 300 feet long and 20 feet in height. Although it requires at least five hauling loads to carry this heavy load, in the video you can see that the monstrous 600 horsepower truck is fully capable of carrying it all by itself. Number three, Mamoet Wind. 
Mamowit Wind successfully transported the world's longest windmill blade. When mounted on the truck, the blade measured 88.4 meters in length and 4.47 meters in height. Precise preparation was required for this operation because the clearance to travel under bridges was only three centimeters. The preliminary blade drawings were used to undertake the initial route surveys. The blade size was raised in terms of breadth and overall height throughout the planning process, which resulted in transport unit adjustments such as longer overhang due to the migration of the tip support point. All road improvements such as traffic sign placement and tree removal had occurred during the procedure. All of these modifications had been approved by municipal authorities, police, and Danish road authority. Strong relationships among all parties involved ensured a smooth and safe operation. Number four, National Group and the A2-T2. Being the world's second largest dump truck, the MTT-2A2 weighs 240 tons which is equal to the weight of 130 standard cars. To transport it along the road, the National Group was contacted. The plan was decided to remove its wheels before loading. After this, a road rail powered by two powerful trucks was used to carry it. But even with this, the journey was not easy, and the cops assisted in the whole escort. This brings us to the end of this video. If you like the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing you more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time.